Geroff versus Gul'dan. Your souls shall be mine. Victory or death. This hand is actually pretty good against Zoo. I think I want like all of these cards. Sun Fury is a bit questionable. He was hovering cards, but I'm not confident enough in him being Zoo that I want to coin out either of these. Wow, he's not Zoo. That's weird. I could have played shield block there. Yeah, I should have played shield block there. That was definitely a mistake. Who's the hand lock now? I could have gone for some kind of execute play on this, but the giant contests it pretty well. I can just clean up with a war axe or something. Not that easy for him to just kill the giant. Unfortunately, I probably just lose to Jiraxis in this matchup. The revenge is kind of a nice draw. It means I can make this trade and execute the giant. This guy goes down to 3 health. He dies to, like, Hellfire. Shadow Bolt. Kind of okay, I guess. I don't really see a cleaner way to do this, I don't think. I could have also just gotten in the 8 damage there. But it's not like... Well, I do have 9 damage in my hand, too. Maybe that was worth it. It would have left him open for a power overwhelming on the Drake, but that's not really bad for me. Wow, my giant gets to live. That's weird. But let's just keep keeping my giant alive. Honestly, it's not that easy for that deck to deal 3 damage. It's pretty much Hellfire Shadow Bolt. Or maybe like Demon Wrath plus Mortal Coil. I guess those decks play Soulfire. So many possibilities. Siphon Soul deal 3 damage. On 7 mana, no less. Pretty happy to see that. So I can go for Justicar Coin Hero Power here. The Hero Power isn't like super important, but that does mean my Arcane Giant costs 8 for next turn. I can also just play Shield Block here if I don't feel like I need to get the Justicar up. What now? But I kind of like getting the Justicar up. He had a really hard time dealing 3 damage to that giant last turn. I could also just like play Justicar and pass on the coin here. But I'd like to be able to play a threat next turn, so I'd have to coin next turn anyway. And then I would have 9 mana and I'd be playing an 8 mana giant, so... I'll just use the coin here where I can actually get something out of it. Okay, so I can just trade off my Justicar and play a Giant, or I can go like War Axe, Bash, Shield Block, Armor Up, it was Justicar, keep her alive. Kinda like keeping the Justicar alive. It's obviously not easy for him to deal 3 damage. Shield Slam over Bash doesn't really allow me to do anything here, so just spend the mana for the Bash. I guess maybe there is merit to holding onto the bash because it can go face. Engaging TC That's not a shadow flame, is it? Oh my god. Ah! Wow, that tap last. I could have played a giant and shield slammed the doomsayer there. But that doesn't really buy me any meaningful tempo. I can just like shield slam whatever he plays this turn and still develop a giant. And that way my shield slam gets to kill a threat instead of a doomsayer. Alright, that's cool. 
Even with the 8 to face, I still have mana for, uh, or I still have armor for Shield Slam. I think I like the Arcane Giant here. It allows me to still use my hero power, and it's less likely to cost 0 mana than the Frost Giant this game. So he's gonna steal my giant, but I still have so much health it doesn't really matter that he steals an 8-8 from me. I'll just play my sea giant into it. If they trade, that's cool. If he somehow has removal for this, then he can like play something else into my brawl maybe. Or maybe next turn I just go like hero power double frost giant. I don't think he's Reno, he seems like he's just playing handlock. Although the mind control tech is a bit weird, maybe he is a Reno list. Basically, I'm not sure if I should be afraid of Twisting Nether or not. Faceless. Alright, well this board is getting brawled. Easiest brawl of my life. Pretty big 50-50 on what wins. Nice. So I'll just armor up and play a giant here. Even if the 9-1 had survived, I didn't have a good way to deal with it. Would have been pretty sketchy. Although I have so much health, if I had to take 9 damage for a couple turns, it wouldn't have been that big a deal. So I feel pretty good about my position right now. But I'm not sure if I said this already, but I don't think I can beat Jaraxxus in the long run. Although he can't play Jaraxxus and do a double giant board or he'll just die. So maybe that should be my goal. I'm still not sure if he's playing, like, Twisting Nether type cards. Let's start with the Iron Forge portal. That's an okay dude. If I just played both of my guys here, it's like such a strong play if he doesn't have Twisting Nether. I could also just Sun Fury right here, it's pretty strong. Let's go for that. Protect my 8-4, hold back on the other 8-8. Eight eight. Getting the Sun Fury on board also gives me an Execute Activator. I guess I can execute Geddon. And then just throw down another threat. Unfortunately, it seems like my Moltens are going to be hard to play this game. Molten Giant is just such a bad card now. In Warrior, anyway. Alrighty. Bullsbane is not a good draw. We're gonna be rich. Oh, he is right now. Okay. Buying or selling. <laughs> well, what's Fool'sbane? There was some hope in my mind that if he was handlock he wasn't playing Jaraxxus, but I think Reno Lock plays Jaraxxus 100% of the time. If he just plays it here, I lose. Wow, the ooze. Should have gone face with the War Axe, got that 3 damage in. An okay minion. Fills the ooze pretty nicely. I do have one revenge and one slam in my deck. For that synergy. Why is he making this trade?
Wow. That seemed weird. I'll just play the Sea Giant here. Makes it really hard for him to just play Juraxis because he'll take 8 damage, he'll go down to 7, and then he's going to start taking fatigue. Twisting Nether. Alright, I really need to draw a threat here. Nice. That's a lot of pressure on his Jaraxxus. Well played. Your magic shall not save your Is he actually just not playing Jaraxxus, or is he too scared to play it? I think I kill Brand because I'm not sure what crazy battle cries he could be playing. I still think he has Jaraxxus, so I don't think getting 8 face damage is that important. Ooh, Soulfire. Off the Peddler, too. Come on, Mountain Giant. Nice. That's game. Never got to play my Moltens. Feels bad, man. 